Hey, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to do a little video about these GFCI plugs. Uh, the, the most modern air conditioners have these. Uh, it's got like a little circuit breaker in it that trips whenever there's like a electrical fault. Uh, now I'm picking up air conditioners off the street quite often and they get rained on sometimes. And the water gets inside of these. You wouldn't think water would get in these very easily, but it does. It gets in there quite easily. Um, these will never dry out on their own. You have to open them up if you want to dry them out. Or you can take the whole cord off and replace the cord. But uh, we're going to try to take this one apart today and try to dry it out. Uh, now you've got all these square security screws. Uh, so you're going to need one of these square security bits. It's just a square bit. You can get these pretty easily off the internet. Harbor Freight sells them. You have to buy like a little set of security bits there. Alright. Let's try this out. I already loosened these screws up just to make this a little a little quicker. There are some small parts in here. There's a few small parts in here that can fall out, so you got to be very careful once you open this up. And I, I have had these screws strip out before, so you don't want to crank down on these too much. screws out. This is where you got to be careful when you're taking this apart. Uh, this bottom piece came off pretty easy. Yeah, you got to be careful doing this there's I'll show it after I get it get this apart all right we got that one apart sometimes there's a there's like a little piece of paper in here like it I guess it's insulating or something this one doesn't have that uh, the piece of paper will fall out. Uh, right here you've got a spring. There's a very tiny spring which is going to fall out. Put that aside. Uh, yeah, these pins are kind of like loose but you can just you know try not to pull on those or anything. Now right in here, this is this spring rests against this little, this is like a little plastic pin here. Uh, that, that operates this top reset button on the plug. This little pin will fall out, so you, you be very careful. It's quite easy to lose that. Now this is usually as far as I go with them. I, if you wanted to be thorough, you could uh, take this bottom piece out, but it's kind of difficult. Plus, you're going to have another pin underneath here, and there, there might be some glue on this. I don't see any glue on this one. 
Yeah, see, this, this piece will come out also, but I'm just going to leave it in there. So, uh, so your only goal here now is to dry this out and get it back together and have it work again. Now, I would not be too impatient drying this out. You can speed it up a little bit with a hair dryer. I usually get, uh, I got one here. I usually just blot this out with a tissue. Be careful, that pin's gonna fall out if you uh, tip this over. It's a very tiny pin, you're probably gonna lose it. Yeah, so I wouldn't be too impatient drying this out. You can use a hair dryer speed it up even then I would still let this sit for at least if a few hours if not a whole day opened like this because if if there's any moisture at all left in there it, it it might work when you plug it in it'll run for about 20 minutes then it'll start tripping again so you, you really don't want to be too impatient drying this out you know let it sit for a whole day or you can speed things up with a hair dryer, but do give it some time. So uh, that's, I'm just gonna let this sit now. I'm gonna let it sit probably for half a day. It's pretty warm out today. Uh, and then we'll come back and put it together, see if it works. All right, we're back. Uh, I did actually I used a hair dryer on this just to speed it up because I'm, I'm a little impatient. Uh, hopefully it's dry. Uh, there's another thing I wanted to mention. I should have showed this in the beginning. This is a different type of... Uh, it's the same thing. It's a, a GFCI or circuit breaker plug. These are used on a lot of general electrics. This type. This is a tower manufacturing corporation now if you have one of these plugs I have never been able to get one of these to work after taking it apart and putting it back together I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with it I don't know if there's some trick to it but I've never never been able to get one of these to work again so it, if anybody out there knows the secret to this then tell me every time I've taken one of these apart I have put it all back together the same way and the buttons always lock up this one's okay but yeah so I, I don't even bother with these anymore I just these I just replace the cord so anybody knows the trick to that let me know anyway Let's put our plug back together here. Oh, we took the spring out, so that went right in here. So, you gotta be careful you don't tip this so the spring falls out or the pin. The pin on this one seems to be staying in place, but they do fall out quite easily. There we go. That should be working. And we're going to put our bottom piece on. screws in. Yeah, this really isn't too difficult. Now, what is this? I got something sticking out the side here. Oh. See? 
Yeah. There's a little, uh, our little insulating thing came off here. I wasn't expecting that to come off. Let's see how this went. There we go. Yeah, this is like a piece of plastic. Sometimes there's a piece of paper here. This is like a springy piece of plastic here. Almost lost our spring. Alright, we got that back in place. the prongs back through there we go ah. there we go this this should do it you just gotta watch out for this few small pieces in there just Gotta remember where they go. You do this over a big, big table or something, so you don't lose the parts. You don't crank down on these screws too hard. Get them snug, but. I have had them strip out a few times. These, these security bits never seem to fit real snug in the screws. I've got I've got like three different brands of the security bits and they're all they all seem to be slightly loose If you try to buy one of these cords from an appliance site, they're usually like, uh, they want like $75 for one of these cords, which is absolutely nuts. Um, I would just put a regular three prong cord on it before I spent 75 bucks on, a, on this junk. I think we got that all looking snug. I think our buttons still work. Alright, let's plug it in. And here's the moment of truth. And it worked. <laughs> I left the power on in the air conditioner that it's still attached to. Yeah, so that was a success. Um, like I said, don't be impatient drying this out because sometimes you, you think it works. You'll have the thing running for 
15 20 minutes and it'll start tripping again so don't be too impatient about drying it and so there you go that's all there is to it I right, will see you next time all right here's a little bonus footage here yeah that cord I replaced was on this Arctic King I just wanted to see if this thing worked. I picked it up off the street. Um, it does not work. Yeah, that's the compressor. I think it's locked up. Yeah, <laughs> that thing's toast. All right, there you go. See you next time.